As the world continues to make efforts to mitigate the effects of climate change, the Cardinal Onaikon Foundation for Peace has organized a tree planting campaign in government secondary school Maraba Gurku to inculcate the culture of environmental protection among students as a way of marking the 2023 International Children's Day. CTV News was there. Following the adoption of the Convention on the Rights of the Child by United Nations General Assembly in 1989, every year in November 20th, UNICEF set aside this date as World Children's Day, a day set aside to draw the attention of the world to issues affecting children globally, such as climate change, education, mental health, and ending discrimination. It was in light of this that the Cardinal Nikon Foundation for Peace, COFP, is using the occasion to draw the attention of children to the care for their environment through tree planting exercise to mitigate the effect of climate change and global warming. Welcoming the team to their school, students of Government Secondary School Maraba Guruku presented a welcome song to entertain their August visitors. Representing the Ministry of Education in Nasara State, Mrs. CEO Pauline gave the essence of the tree planting exercise. We all know the importance of planting trees in our environment. And I want to assure you that after this uh, planting uh, tree campaign, we will make sure that our children does not destroy all these plants. This program is done annually, usually November 28th. But we are doing today because of the season to enable us to plant the trees and flowers. The program we are celebrating today is a day set aside to commemorate the right of children by the United Nations. Understanding that climate change, which is extreme weather conditions, has constantly posed a threat to children's survival, growth and development globally. We have dedicated this day to create awareness among the young people on the need to protect our environment through tree planting exercises. The tree planting exercise was an opportunity for the students to showcase the rich cultural heritage of Nigeria through various cultural dances. High point of the event was the demonstration and planting of trees by the students under the supervision of COFP team. Candidly speaking, I'm so happy with this program and even the, the generation yet unborn, they will enjoy the benevolence of these trees. As far as we have flowers and economic trees in which uh, the economic trees will yield fruit and students will enjoy it. Part of our effort as we are planning is one, to organize uh, a quiz competition on climate change and environment. SA, SA competition, we are going to be bringing schools, okay? And also we have, also have the intention to create, to institute what we call environmental club. So this club now will help, okay, in, you know, inculcating in the uh, other students how to take care of the environment. The tree planting, it will help why, like, in terms of ecosystem we don't allow water to wash the soil out of the school and with the plants in everywhere will be it will be okay and everywhere will be beautiful and the school will be conducive for learning program that they came to do in my school I learned how to plant a flower and the process is uh, when you take the flower you have to put small water into the leather so that it gets soft for it to easily remove it from the leather then you impact it to the ground. They add sand and water. And the impact to the flower, the flower in my school is to help in reducing the erosion and to beautify the school environment.
from Maraba Gruko in Nasara State, Tony Abba reporting for CTV News.